Right now, there are 37 trillion cells in your body. 34 trillion of those cells are bacteria cells, and only 3 trillion are human cells. If you were to stretch out all of those cells from end to end, they would be able to circle the Earth at least 10 times. Within each of these cells is a special set of instructions that tells the cell what to do. Some of them are told to become neural cells to help you think, some turn into immunity cells to help you fight off diseases, and some can turn into any type of cell to regenerate anything. If you think you can't regenerate like Deadpool, you are right. And wrong. Because you actually regenerate parts of your body all the time. Your skin replaces itself every 30 days. Wow, that video is a lot more seductive than I thought it would be. Your fingertips can sometimes grow back if they are chopped off. If you lost 75% of your liver, it can regenerate back to full size. And if you were decapitated, you could fully regenerate yourself. Oh wait, that part is just for Deadpool. So how is Deadpool able to do this? We will first have to look at how he got his powers. Welcome to my homeland of Canada, which has been known to produce some of the greatest people in history, such as Justin Bieber, Terrence and Philip, <laughs> Rob Ford, and the greatest dancer in history. You're welcome, America. You're welcome. But it has also been able to pump out superheroes like Wolverine, Sabretooth, and Wade Wilson, also known as Deadpool. Deadpool got his powers pretty much the same way that every other superhero gets their powers. You know, he was in a once-in-a-lifetime situation, some science-y thing went right or wrong, and somehow he ended up with superpowers. His main power being his increased ability at telling jokes. Oh, I so pity the dude who pressures her into prom sex. Oh, and he has that regeneration thing that, you know, makes him unable to die. Right up Main Street. In modern science, stem cells are generally what organisms use to replace older or damaged cells, so it is likely that Deadpool would use a similar mechanism as well. Certain organisms that have been able to harness the potential of these stem cells have shown the ability to heal like Deadpool and have actually been considered immortal by some scientists. One such organism is the planarian worm, which can literally regrow any part of its body and live forever. What makes stem cells so effective is that some of them can transform into any type of cell. Think of it this way, when a man and a woman love each other very much, a stork flies by and drops off a zygote into the mother's belly. This may or may not be true. This zygote is a fertilized egg containing the genes of both the mother and the father. It is one single stem cell that has the instructions to create an entire person. Eventually, over the course of nine months, an entire human will be generated or originating from the one cell. Now, this type of cell is called a totipotent cell, and it is the most godlike of all cells because it can become and create any other type of cell. But that would be quite weird if Deadpool was walking around with a large portion of zygotes in his body. And also, zygotes are used to create an entirely new organism, meaning that if Deadpool were to regenerate using these cells, it would just create a bunch of new Deadpools instead of regenerating the old one. Now, that wouldn't be too realistic, but let's be honest, that'd be amazing. One step down on the stem cell list is pluripotent cells, which can give rise to all cell types in the human body, except for the ones in the placenta, but who cares about that? And even one more step down is multipotent cells, which can become any type of one specific cell. For example, a hemipoietic stem cell can only become a blood cell, but it can still become any kind of blood cell, like a white blood cell or a red blood cell, which can then be specialized even further but it can't become something like a brain cell. These multipotent cells are generally what humans have in their bodies. Therefore, Deadpool's body would most likely be composed of pluripotent cells because it would give him the capability of regenerating his entire body no matter what part of him is destroyed. For example, if he were to have his head chopped off, multipotent cells would definitely not be able to recreate his entire body at once. But if he had enough pluripotent cells, then he could theoretically grow a new body if his healing factor was up to par. So that brings up the question, how fast does Deadpool heal? Well, let me just state that this is purely theoretical, but depending on the situation, he heals usually 1 million to 1 billion times faster than the average human. Meaning if Deadpool took a gunshot to the arm, he would probably heal in a few seconds, 
while in a human it can take about three to six months for a full recovery. The only comparable somewhat large animal that can regenerate its entire body like Deadpool is the jellyfish. When a jellyfish gets injured or sick, all of its cells get replaced with new ones within a span of about three days, making it somewhat immortal. I love changes. Deadpool's regeneration doesn't just heal his body, it also prevents him from aging. The process of aging is very complex, but one of the key factors has to do with cell division. Whenever a cell divides in our bodies, it shortens the end parts of our chromosomes, which are called telomeres. Scientists discovered that as these telomeres get shorter, they activate mechanisms to prevent further cell division, meaning that you won't be able to make new cells to replace the old ones. So Deadpool would have to have some sort of mechanism that would counteract the shortening of the telomeres if he is going to live to his 800 years like he did in the comic books. 800 years seems like a very long time to be alive, but there are some large organisms that actually can get somewhat close to that number. Us humans have a lifespan of about 75 years, eels can live for about 150 years, tortoises can live for almost 200 years, and the ocean quahog can live over 500 years. Meaning that there might be some clams alive today that were over 250 years old when America became a country and might have even been alive when Christopher Columbus made his voyage to America in 1492. To put that in perspective, about 25 generations of your family have been born since then. Thank you all for watching everyone, make sure you to check out the extended Science of Deadpool podcast on iTunes, click the annotation or check out the link below in the description. Oh, and click the awesome button if you want to see more or if you're just awesome. And remember that you are all very beautiful people, and I will see you guys next time.